Hey, this is Anastasia, president of U.S. Harpers, and I'm here in Miami at the boat show. We've got a lot of great stuff going on. Please join us. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. We've got stories with all the cool stuff that we're seeing, and we hope that you'll enjoy the show as much as we are. Take care. We're over at President of Ingenity, and I'm here today with a couple of exciting announcements. And uh, for those who don't know, Ingenity uh, is all about 100% zero emissions uh, drivetrains for the most demanding recreational boat use cases. So, Boating Magazine tests over 100 boats per year. We select one boat that more than any other boat advances the art of recreational boating. And that year, this year, that boat is the Ingenity Nautique GS22E. Formula is developing a series of high quality center consoles ranging from 32 to 45 feet. And we are unveiling today a preview of the first two Formula center console models, which will make their debut at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Yeah. 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 the first autopilot system that controls speed and gear position for single engine outboards without the need of a joystick or the cost. You heard me right. The whole system can be on your boat for under $3,000. I'm Sophia with Zodiac Nautic. Uh, this is our Open 3.4. It's the new expansion on our Open Range, uh, bringing a smaller boat uh, to our very well-loved Open Range. I'm Jim from Mercury Marine, and we're here today introducing our concept of our first electric outboard motor. Boost and the EcoJet, engineered specifically for the future of the pontoon boat. EcoJet module, which my hand here is on, delivers the same ease of install as an outboard. Boat building partners provide fuel, electrical, and steering connections for plug and play installation. Guys, this is Kelsey here in the Yamaha booth at the Miami Boat Show. This is our brand new Harville all electric 48 volt engine. It's got the equivalent horsepower thrust of a 10 horsepower engine. It's got rim drive magnetic impulsion, and this is our first introduction into the electric motor market. All right, so we are here at the Sea Ray booth at the Miami International Boat Show, right next to the beautiful Sundancer 370 outboard. New for the show this year, the boat comes fully equipped with double um, Mercury V12 engines, bringing this boat 600 horsepower. Come check Hi it out. Hi everyone, I'm Gail Colt from the CETO Foundation, and I'm here to let you know that we're in the process of reviewing all of the applications that came in for our life jacket loaner station. We had a record number of applications this year, so we'll be reviewing them over the next couple of months, and we'll let everybody know by the end of March who is going to be able to get the life jackets, who's getting the life jacket loaner station building kits, and where the new locations are going to be. In the meantime, if you're looking for a life jacket to borrow, you can go to our website, boatingsafety.com slash map, and we have a map of the 933 existing locations on the map, so you can find one near you. The latest addition to the Boston Whale portfolio, the all-new 360 Outrage. Did you know that when we were designing this boat, we used not only sketch and paper, uh, pencil and paper, just like a classic designer would, but we also used things like virtual reality to evaluate color, human factors, uh, boat layout, things like that. The boat was designed from the keel up to maximize the space and functionality while delivering on all of the things that you've come to expect from Boston Whaler, performance, durability, safety, and comfort.
I'm Whit Jones with Wounded Nature Working Veterans here at the Miami Boat Show. Wounded Nature Working Veterans was found, founded in 2010 to fill a need in the environmental space. There's a lot of money and effort cleaning up tourist beaches where the people go, but no one's operating in the space cleaning up uh, marine debris where the wildlife wants to be. So Wounded Nature Working Veterans focuses on cleaning up marine debris, trash, treated lumber, abandoned boats where the wildlife wants to be. We're here at the Miami Boat Show to talk to boaters, whether they're getting a new boat or a new to you used boat, to make sure you have a plan for the end of life of that vessel. You can't just leave that vessel in the water and abandon it. Here we are at the Miami Boat Show 2022 Bahio Sunglasses, sustainably produced, made here in Florida, and we have the clearest sunglass lens on the market. Please be sure to check us out. Hi, Anastasia in U.S. Harbors. I am Lorraine. I am in the marketing department at West Marine, and we're really excited to be here at the Miami Boat Show. We are really, you know, developing our brand as we now have a new CEO, and he's really taking us forward to educate our boaters, to welcome new boaters, to keep our current boaters safe and happy and having fun out on the water. Um, that's really our mission and what we do here at West Marine, and we're also thrilled as the entire boating industry is, how uh, boating has really attracted new customers. You know, a lot more women are getting into boating, and we're seeing that, you know, the customer service is really what is retaining them in the boating lifestyle. Um, making sure that, you know, you know how to winterize, you're ready for spring prep, and just making sure that new boaters are able to maintain and keep their boats and be able to go out and have fun on them. My name is Dr. Amy Hirons. I'm an oceanography professor at Nova Southeastern University in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We've been contracted for the 24th Annual International, Miami International Boat Show to do manatee observations. What that entails is as we have a marina full of sea trial vessels during the boat show, we put on board uh, volunteers and also paid participants to act strictly as manatee observers while these boats are in manatee essential habitat, so in the water surrounding the marina here. is it going? Uh, this one is uh, less than quarter throttle. This is a three horsepower. So uh, this is the only uh, electric boat on the sail dock uh, by Nova Lux and we use the Torquedo system. This boat was designed by a husband and wife and two, who have two small boys. The husband loves surfing and he wanted a, a vessel that he could go into the Pacific to Indonesia and surf uh, that's safe and also fast and, and that was the spec for this boat. Pat Bucci with Torquedo. Uh, we are cor currently aboard the Ocean Renegade. Uh, the Ocean Renegade is one of our newest projects that 
has implemented the deep blue system. Um, it's, a, it's very unique in the fact that it's all electric, uh, which obviously uh, creates a little, uh, creates an efficiency over your standard diesel power. Um, we're currently implementing in this boat uh, a solar array. We've got two generators that uh, propel both the motors and the house loads. Hi, I'm Sean Lobry. I'm with uh, Silver Ships Incorporated. We are an aluminum workboat builder from the Mobile, Alabama area. Uh, we have brought uh, one of our uh, feature workboats to the show. Uh, we're one of the very, very few aluminum uh, hull boats here. And this is a fire uh, rescue dive boat that uh, we built for the Cape Coral, Florida Fire Department. And it is a Freedom 30 is the series. The Freedom is our uh, uh, classic uh, V-hold uh, shaped boat. It's a center console. And uh, it has a lot of very unique features, uh, not on many of the boats here, uh, specifically to support Cape Coral's fire mission. Uh, starting with uh, the power, we've got uh, twin Suzuki 350 horsepower outboards, DF350s. Uh, one of the neat features of that engine, it has a duo prop, basically a double propeller uh, front and back, and that gives you a lot of uh, acceleration and uh, torque. These strange uh, poles outboard of the engines, those are power poles, and they're, it's an anchoring system. And uh, this customer has a requirement to be able to loiter and uh, keep their boat in one position for a long period of time. So those basically deploy down and dig into the bottom. Uh, in, in, as long as you have less than 10 feet of water, you can use those. So, so your engine and helm controls are here. Your fire pump controls are here. Uh, you can uh, deploy your pole anchors from the console here. Also, the engines are on a jack plate system that allows you to uh, move them up about a foot in shallow water um, area. I'm not sure how much of this you can see, but uh, we have a, uh, uh, a great American fire pump company, Darley, that uh, has provided their Hercules HE64 fire pump. It's a 64 horsepower engine that drives a pump system that pumps uh, seawater or whatever water you're in, maybe lake or river water, uh, uh, the nozzle in the front for, for firefighting purposes. And it's, uh... Hi, my name is David. I'm with uh, Saks of America, and uh, this is our 47-foot Rebel. It's a foam-filled rib where it's not air tube, so it's actually solid foam. It has a memory component to it, so it'll resist any kind of uh, damage from uh, puncture and being pushed against. And uh, you know, we, we found this is the kind of boat that people can drive. You don't have to have a captain. This boat's so easy with the joystick that my 13-year-old daughter can drive this boat. Anastasia, president of U.S. Harbors, and here we are back where we started. It's the end of the Miami Boat Show, and it's been a great show. See y'all next year.